The future of fuel is there. Think about a car that even runs on air. The air we breathe, the air that's for free. Science fiction novelist Jules Verne predicted that cars would one day run on air. Ironically, France's Guy Negre just happens to share his birthday. Yes, Jules Verne was born the same day of me. <laughs> and Monsieur Negre has created, yes, the air car. Fully functional prototypes of lightweight cars fueled completely by compressed air. My name is Cyril Negre and I'm working with my father since 1993. And we arrive at the solution that we can use compressed air. Imagine, it costs nothing, nothing to fill up your car with gas. That gas also happens to be the same gas that fills your lungs with every breath. The principle is simple. En fait, uh, tous les moteurs fonctionnent. Actually, all engines work with compressed air. Most engines suck it in, heat it up, it pressurizes and it pushes on a piston. In our engine, we pressurize the air first, so when we apply it to the piston, the piston is pushed. But in this kind of engine, what we are doing, we are bringing the air with high pressure, and if you take into account the fact that you need to compress the air and to expand it into the engine, this is a whole system totally free of emission. Actually, the air car does have emissions. It's ice cold, completely clean, highly breathable air. Obviously, compressed air isn't like carburation. It doesn't use combustion. Compressed air is an energy carrier. It has to be compressed and then it will restore and return what we gave it. Movement, powered by air, 200 miles on one tank, with speeds up to 60 miles per hour. You can fill it with an air station in three minutes, or you can plug it on a normal electric plug, and then using this alternator we have inside of the car, which is also an engine, you can drive the air engine as a compressor and fill the tank. Strong, lightweight, practical. A solid cabin structure that carries compressed air tanks underneath to propel it. For some, it's hard to believe. Of, of course, uh, many septic is normal. In fact, it's always easier to be skeptical than to think in a positive way. They can say whatever they want. I know my technology. I know what there is inside. And I know the potential there is inside of this technology. More than potential, the air car is the real deal. The air car isn't cost free to operate because it does take some energy to compress air. But interestingly, MDI has created a generator powered by compressed air, which presents a tantalizing possibility. What if that generator was on board the car? Then one day, perhaps the compressed air that runs the cars will also run a generator to compress its own air. A car that runs on air and constantly refuels itself, round and round, a perfect circle, perpetual motion. A no-cost fill-up ever. Not one iota of pollutants ever and a cute car, all for about $15,000. That's a future car.